Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your camera on the Galaxy Alpha. Now out of the box, unfortunately, uh, some things were changed to the Alpha, so you do want to set them to their best quality. So we're going to go into the camera first of all, and this is how it will look when you first turn it on. But then we're going to hit this little settings button on right here. And we're going to do a couple of things. The first thing we're going to do is turn picture stabilization off. I know that sounds like a good thing, but actually if you see what it does, it actually is perfect for low light photos. Otherwise, this is what makes your photos take really long to take a photo. So you're going to turn that one off. You're going to turn face detection on. Why is it off? I have no idea why they would think that's a smart thing to do but it is off. The third thing you want to do is turn video stabilization on. This allows obviously your photo, your videos to be very stable. Now there's also these three. So you can have three things at the top. These are what I recommend you put at the top. The first one is flash. Flash you obviously want to always have easy access to. So that's the first thing you're going to want up there. The second thing is most people will not use selective focus. That's the really cool feature that I did do a video on for the S5. So you can check it out, but where the thing in front of you is crystal clear and the thing behind you is very blurry. So if you do like that, and if you're going to use that that often, then you maybe want to leave it there. Otherwise, you're going to want to put recording mode on there better. So let's move recording mode up here. And that is what I recommend. Now a couple other things to note, you can use voice controls, so you can use, oh, we would have to enable S voice to do that, just uh, I disabled it, but uh, what voice controls allow you to do is say cheese, capture, smile, shoot, and it'll allow you to take uh, photos using your voice. The other thing uh, you should know is the shutter sound can be turned on or off right there, so if you want to have it off, uh, just turn it there. And the last thing I would do is use tap to take photo. This makes your photo taking much easier and much quicker uh, than most other phones. So now for instance, I can just tap right here. I'll take a photo, tap right there. It'll take the photo, tap right there. It'll take the photo. And it just makes it a lot quicker uh, once it just, it really gets it. Obviously these are two extremes, but it just makes it really nice and quick to take a photo uh, and kind of calm down the lag for it. Now, why are these three the ones that I say you should leave? Well, a couple reasons. First thing is instant HDR. You wanna generally have this on. It's good for fixing any range in light. So if you have a window or a door that's letting through too much light uh, on the outside in, this will fix that so you can actually see your photo. Same thing with TV, sports bars, anything that has a TV, it's uh, overcasting your shot. And finally, any kind of sporting event. Uh, the field is always darkened because the lights are so bright or the sun is so bright at the top that you can't see anything on the field that will correct it. Flash, obviously, is self-explanatory. Just quickly, you can easily turn it on into different settings. And then finally, you have the video recording. Video recording mode allows you to do a couple of different modes. One is uh, if you plan on sending this immediately through text message, it's just the best way to record the video. Slow motion, which you can change how slow it goes. And fast motion, which you can change how fast it goes. Finally, you have smooth motion. Now for all of these that record video out there, you actually want to leave it on smooth motion. Smooth motion films in an amazing video quality that you just can't get on any other phone with the exception of the S5 and the Note series. It's really beautiful and uh, if you film on this mode, you never want to film in any other mode. It basically is the same kind of quality that TV shows and movies film with. Finally, we have the modes over here. If this seems too cluttered to you and you only use one or two of them, then you can manage your modes and select which ones you want to keep on there as well as you can download more at the very bottom. Uh, one that I recommend you download is the Sports Shot. Sports Shot is even quicker than the standard burst and it anticipates things such as babies, kids, pets, anything like that uh, to take it faster than you normally would. So that's what I recommend Sports Shot for. Other than that, that's uh, pretty much the most part of how you want to set up your phone. And once you have it set up this way, you will take uh, much better photos than you would have if you just left it alone. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, 
the Android Guy.